Hi, it's Peter Jekyll here from Turn On Dynamics, talking all things Dynamics AX to D365 upgrades. Uh, as we've talked about a lot is that these are uh, much uh, different upgrades than we're typically used to because of cost and complexity. And today what I want to talk about specifically is the different upgrade paths uh, that these upgrades could take. So traditionally, an AX upgrade was fairly, a fairly linear uh, project, right? You had some version of AX here, and you were going to do an upgrade to B, and you know, your consideration here was cost and the amount of time, right? So that, uh, that typically was the, uh, you know, the, the extent of the analysis that you're going to do. We need to go from A to B, and how much is it going to cost, and how much time do we have to take? One of the things that we have found, again, with these AX to D365 upgrade projects, is that there's a lot more to these, again, besides cost and time. And so what there are three major additional paths or decisions that uh, I have found that you're going to need to consider. First of all, I was very surprised that people were not just automatically going AX to D365 cloud. Almost everybody that we've worked with wanted to have a discussion of on-premise versus cloud. And the discussions here can be fairly complex and involved. The second thing that we were surprised about was that there were folks that decided not to do this today. They decided to do what I call a stabilization plan. And by what I mean by the stabilization plan was they said that this move today is too expensive and too um, you know, new, and so they didn't want to undergo this. And so instead, the stabilization plan is let's upgrade to AXR3, the latest and greatest version of AX, and once we're stabilizing here, let's wait for this process to catch up so it's faster and less expensive, and then move from the R3 version to the D365. The last decision, major decision that folks make, um, you know, when contemplating these upgrades is the reinstall versus the true upgrade process. And this has to do with a lot to do with the amount of customizations that you have on your current version of AX and the cost of taking those upgrades, uh, of taking those modifications in an upgrade path. So uh, three things that we typically did not you know, have to investigate as thoroughly as in the old days. And if you want to see more information on this, we have an, another video that goes into some greater detail. And if you want to talk about how this applies to your situation, uh, please give us a call.